Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime scene cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. We're here getting ready to do a COVID disinfection. Um, it's two active cases. The wife had COVID. She was quarantined in her bedroom. The husband actually stayed away, ended up falling in the shower. We're here somewhere in Tampa. Um, we're here doing a decon job at the 7-Eleven. We're here getting ready to do a COVID disinfection. That's why we are completely suited up. Um, it's two active cases. So from what I understand, a buddy of Laura's actually, who used to play softball with her before she started the company. Um, this is actually her neighbor that hired us. And the backstory behind that, the wife had COVID. She was quarantined in her bedroom. The husband who didn't knew, know if he had it or not, actually stayed away, ended up falling in the shower, unfortunately. And when he went to the emergency room, got tested and found out that he actually had COVID as well. Now, the friend of Laura's is actually conducting all of this. He's the one that called us to get us to come out here and decon the entire place. So it's a really nice gesture and I think that's more what the world needs right now. We're just here to disinfect the general area so that nobody else can contract it. We had just done the first major fog. Also checked in with the client as well. He had come over to see how everything was going. So it feels about 95 to 105 in these bunny suits. Um, but we're good with 78 degree weather, trust me. Oh yeah, 78 <laughs> degrees in Florida is like snow. At least that's how people treat it, so. But um, we're just taking a quick little water break and then we're gonna go in, wipe down, and do our final fog. It's magic. Basically any surface that can be touched. Like when you go to pull out a chair like this, me, I'd grab it like this, I'd grab it right here. But seeing that there's a wear mark right here, you never know. So you just wipe it all down and call it good. So now that we've wiped every touchable surface down, we're gonna go ahead and fog a really heavy fog one more time. And then we're gonna be out of here. We try to be organized. Keep the truck organized, ready for the next job. Whenever they call, we ready. We're here somewhere in Tampa. Um, we're here doing a decon job at the 7-Eleven. Uh, I don't know if there's a positive case or not, but we we always treat it like it is a positive case. Like my good friend here, hopefully John. Hopefully it's not, because the store is still open. Yeah, hopefully it's not, because the store is still wide open. Um, eventually they'll clear it out, but... <laughs> I mean, with John standing in front, I mean, it's bound to be empty eventually. I'm going back. <laughs> this shit's crazy. All three of us got to go in front of the store so everybody leaves. You start standing in front of it like... No, hold on, hold on. So apparently, John just walked in and asked him, uh, and he's being told that he gets to close the store down. <laughs> so he's gonna stand at the front full Tyvek with a full face respirator and be like, nope, you can't come in. <laughs> this is the best part of the job. Good publicity, I guess. I'm at 2200. <laughs> now that we've fogged, we're getting ready to wipe down every high touch surface. But since we're in a gas station, it's every surface. <laughs> so it should take us a good couple of minutes to wipe down everything. I love me some boiled peanuts. It's not from this 7-Eleven.
That would be 9.95. I am so rude sometimes. I'm sorry. I've always just wanted to come into a 7-Eleven and just walk around like I own the place. Unfortunately, I don't, but, you know, it's nice to have big dreams. So people keep walking up to the door trying to get in, and the owners and the manager and the workers are all sitting out. Well, not the owner, but the manager and the worker are sitting outside. But people are still tugging on the door, so we got to be like, nope, turn around, go away, not open. And it's just comical to see their face. We had people go or drive by seeing us shouting COVID-19. We've had uh, oh, the one guy wanted to uh, scream out, "Where's Kyle?" And I wish Kyle was here because it'd make it a lot more funnier. Unfortunately, I'm not that funny. It takes a special kind of skill for that, I guess. It's been it's been fun, but now we get to let we gotta let it wait. Gotta let it kill it all. Get to go turn people away. Yeah, don't we? scare people. <laughs> Me and John, we white tag team the counters. The manager was in here taking photos of us, so we couldn't exactly fall right now. We're doing a secondary wipe after the first one. And now, uh, once me and him get that secondary wipe done, we're going to do a, uh, a heavy fog. And then we're out of here. My name's Ricky. Um, Jay. Jay. We work at 7-Eleven. Uh, when you guys think of crime scene cleaners, what do you guys think of? Not you guys. Not someone who's cleaning a 7-Eleven in one second and cleaning up a crime scene the next. Sweet. So going through our Instagram, um, what are your thoughts? It's pretty crazy. Yeah, it's, it's a little intense, honestly. Job, yeah. What's the craziest thing on that Instagram? Oh, dude, that, that toe? Oh my god, I'm good. Oh, the jaw? Is that a jaw? That was a jaw. Oh, God. Whatever it is. Yeah, no, I'm good. Job all done? Yeah, I'd say. Hey, guys, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Pause for the cause. And for ring that bell visit to get notifications when we launch our new episodes every Thursday. Have a good day, guys. Peace. That's it, guys. On to the next.